All right, check it out. This is the new Flip Video Mino. I think that's how you say that. And we are going to unbox this today. Pretty simple, very small box. Uh, 60 minutes of video recording time. Typical Flip Video stuff, one-touch recording. Uh, they did add uh, a new, uh, some new uploading options, MySpace. Uh, and that's pretty much it. I mean, this is a very simple box here, so... There we go. Nice packaging, nice and simple. And this, of course, is the Flip Mino. Looks pretty sleek, especially on the back. You'll notice that uh, the buttons are all pretty flat. The record button is an actual button, but the other ones are not actual buttons. They're just uh, touch-sensitive buttons on the back. Of course, you have power button on the side here. And this is new. The uh, flip on the top is much different than it used to be. You can tell that it kind of pops out from the top, and then this covers it up. So it's a lot more elegant, if you will. Of course, you have your tripod mount on the bottom, and uh, same screen as before is what it looks like. Let's see what else we got in here. Quick start guide. A little bit of warranty information. The flip video bag to keep it in good condition. The flip video lanyard. Notice how tightly they packed this. They did a good job of keeping it nice and small. And of course here's your flip video video connector cables for connecting it up to your TV. And uh, this plugs right down here into the TV port on your flip video. And this one does not take AA batteries like uh, the previous flip models. This actually has a built-in rechargeable battery. And, of course, you would charge that via the USB port. There is no power plug on this. And there you go. So let's power it up. All right, so we set our date, which 340. And that's it. Just sounds on or off, date, time, and you're good to go. And uh, it looks very similar. The interface is pretty much the same as the previous flip videos. You have your digital zoom in and out, which is the same as well. You hit record, and you know you're recording a video just like before. Very similar to the previous flip video. In fact, uh, you hit play, delete. Uh, this is a little bit in different. The um, interface there. A little bit more on-screen interface, you can tell, versus the other version. It wasn't as clean in terms of the graphical interface here, but this one a little bit nicer in that sense. All right, so let's and check this out. Now, I want to compare it. We have the Flip Video Ultra here. And we also have the, the new Creative Vado here, too. So if I put them all next to each other, you can see that the Vado and the, the Minnow uh, obviously much smaller than the previous flip and uh, it especially so shows on the side when you put them all next to each other the chunkiness of the original flip video definitely shows there you go and the Vado and the Minnow very very similar especially in size there now the screen size obviously is a huge factor uh, because the creative screen size is a lot bigger than this uh, this new flip and uh, I think that might be an issue for some people because you know you're paying eighty dollars less for the creative and you're getting a two inch screen versus this tiny screen on here which is basically the same screen that you had before it's the identical screen that you had before on the flip uh, the thinness it's pretty much the same with the Vado and the Minnow except you'll notice that on the uh, the flip, the lens actually sticks out. It protrudes from the uh, the front a little bit there, whereas the uh, Creative doesn't do that. Uh, so it definitely doesn't lay as flat. The Creative will lay flat a lot easier. Uh, one of the nice things about the, the flip cameras that I do like is that they put the tripod mount on the bottom, and they also make the bottom flush. Whereas on the Creative, the bottom is not flush. 
it actually has this little rubber thing sticking out. So if you use a tripod, you have to pull this out and let it hang to the side for the tripod to sit flat on the bottom. And uh, that does become an issue when you use a tripod. A standard size tripod is going to come to about right there, and uh, you'll have some issues there. But uh, all in all, the Minnow and the Vado, very similar cameras, as you can see, uh, both released within the last month here, and uh, both very cool products.